Hey y'all, what's up? It's Meezy with the first video of 2021 and it's the seventh day of 2021, but it it has been a week, hasn't it? What a year, what a year we've had so far. Uh, so today let's just dissociate and talk about the M1X chips that Apple is allegedly putting out this year. All right, so if you have been following the Apple news, you have no doubt heard about the glamorous, amazing, fast, very capable uh, Apple M1 computer. So in, to recap, in November, yeah, in November, late October, we got word that the Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, and MacBook Air were all getting refreshed with the Apple M1 chips. Now, Apple actually announced these chips back in March, um, and we learned that, you know, they'd be 40% faster, or sorry, they, they'd be, I don't remember the specs, but they were saying it was gonna be so fast, and they were just gonna be so great, and they wouldn't overheat, and you know, Apple was making their own silicon, taking it into their own hands, it was gonna be so amazing, blah, 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 blah. And when they said all that, I was just like, hmm, okay, girl. But then people started getting the laptops, and the Mac minis, and they were using them, and I saw the performance, and I was like, hmm, okay girl so after watching videos for literally like two weeks i was like okay you know what your old laptop is crapping out on you check out my tweets i promise you i tweeted that you know it was time for me to upgrade um and so i started watching all these videos not realizing that you know the whole m1 upgrade had actually happened and i was like dang like maybe I should upgrade. And so I started checking, I'm trying to check out, um, like on the Apple Store app, I'm looking and I'm like, okay, you know, when can I get a laptop that I would want? And I went through like all the motions, like, okay, I'm gonna get a Mac Mini. No, I'm gonna get a MacBook Air. No, I'm gonna get a MacBook Pro. Um, and so I, I, I'm telling you all this because the thing that influenced my decision was the most was the fact that right before I ordered my MacBook Pro, I started seeing information about this M1X chip. And I'm like, girl, we just got the M1. What are y'all talking about M1X? So if y'all want to know the specs of my MacBook Pro, I got the MacBook Pro 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of storage, just because I don't want to have to stress about storage or always have a hard drive with me wherever I go, like I would have to if I got the 250 gigabyte version. Um, but I'll make another video on that. Okay, so when I heard that the M1X chips were supposed to be coming out in the spring, I was just like, hold up because I just bought this number one but number two people are saying that this is going to be a 16 inch MacBook Pro refresh um which is possibly going to have more um more ports on it and if you know anything about macbook pros they only have two usb-c ports and you have to buy dongles to expand the storage uh and it's just really annoying because one you paid all this money for a computer that you have to buy extra parts to use but two like if this is a professional machine most professionals and honestly anybody in general is going to need more space than just like one slot to put a charger and then one slot to put something else in there uh but that's just how the game goes apple has been making a lot of money off accessories so at this point all of us sheep just have to deal with it um but so that's my one big beef is that like if this macbook pro 13 inch is not considered a pro machine don't call it that or like i'm wondering are they gonna call the 16 inch a macbook pro max like is it gonna be another level is it even gonna come out in march right is it gonna come out you know next holiday season we shall see um and then along with the 16 inch though there's supposed to be a 14 inch macbook pro which i think i would prefer the 14 inch size it's only one inch difference from the 13 inch but i think we all know the difference that one inch of screen makes like it gives you way more real estate i mean think of the difference between a five inch phone and a six inch phone right a, a five inch phone seems pocket size compared to a six inch, six inch phone so yeah it's just 
I, I would like to have a 14 inch and so part of me wishes Apple would just tell us when things are coming but I know that they like to build hype and I understand marketing and whatever but as somebody who knows that they want to buy things I would just like to know so I can get my coins ready and so I won't buy a laptop just to uh replace it in five months which I don't want to do and I guess let's kind of move into the price ranges that this M1X chip might be so this MacBook was about $2,300 I want to say after taxes it might have been $25 um and so I'm thinking like M1X chip on a 16 inch MacBook Pro what's going to be the starting price there is it going to start at like three thousand dollars and go up from there once you bump up the ram or the the storage or like how's that gonna go i'm just interested to know will it have a graphics card that is a question i definitely have will it have a video card will it have things like that because we currently don't have that um in the m1 but for my needs i'm like okay without it i can upgrade later um but i, I just want to know i'm nosy let me know all right, so the other big thing about the M1X chip and the next MacBook and blah, 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 is that allegedly this M1X chip is gonna be 40% faster than the M1 chips. And if you have watched any of the hundreds of videos that are on YouTube about how fast the M1 chip is, you know how wild that is to even think of of a, a computer being that much faster right because at that point these m1 macbooks will be almost double the speed of intel macbooks actually they might have the way they'll be quadruple the speed i guess at that point so that will just be like uh, oh, I meant to say a lot of people think that the iMac refresh will come this year um, along with that 16 inch and 14 inch MacBook Pro. So yeah, that's all the tea that I really have on that. And so here's my thoughts. I think that the new MacBook Pros, I think those won't come in March. I hope they don't come in March a little selfishly because I think I will want to get another one. So you know what? In order to support my habits, you know, just run the video back, you know, watch it all again, watch the rest of the videos, like, subscribe, share with your friends so that I can get that AdSense money so that I can buy a laptop to tell y'all if y'all should buy it. Uh, and then also, um, I, I think those are gonna come later in the year. But here's my real reason why I think that, because Corona, I just think that that pushed back a lot of production and I'm not really sure if Apple is all the way ready or, you know, had their production levels at the level that they would need to release these at the right time, right? Because even the iPhone got uh, pushed back. So who knows? Um, and then yeah so I, I don't think we're gonna get them in March I can see a summertime release because Apple loves a nice you know press release this is coming out go get it it doesn't necessarily have to be an Apple event for them to release something really big uh, and then I think that the Mac Pro is going to get a refresh next year and I think that Mac Pro will not have the M1 chip. I think it will have some updated version. I don't know if I really believe that these new MacBook Pros and uh, the new iMac will have a M1X chip. To me, it doesn't make sense, but also Min Chi Kuo, the very notable Apple leaker says that it will be M1X, I think. So who, I mean, he's right a lot of the times. But he could also be wrong he's human um so that is what i think about the new m1 x chips and all the tea that i've gathered from watching millions of videos i watched all the videos so you don't have to um uh, and yeah I, oh 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 one more thing a lot of people are trying to speculate if the mac pro can still be modular uh with a m1 chip right because m1 is system on a chip and the RAM is integrated onto the chip or the RAM is like, 
I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily on the chip, but you can't really upgrade the RAM in a for an M1 computer. So it's just like, how will that work, right? Because like with the current Mac Pro, you could start off with 32 and later buy some more RAM and get up to 48 or 128 or 125. The exponential numbers are losing me right now. But basically, you can upgrade your computer at any time. But if we are on M1 chips, will we still have that ability, right? So. There's a few videos speculating of how it could be done, but I don't really see any of those things happening. So yeah, those are all my predictions for uh, what I think this M1X release, these new MacBook Pros are gonna be like. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with your friends. I will update y'all if any more tea comes out about these computers. Uh, I guess, uh, do I think you should buy an M1 laptop if you need a laptop right now? Absolutely. If you are new to the Apple game, absolutely is the way to go. Um, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.